Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add social sharing buttons to your WordPress website. We're gonna do this with a plugin called NovaShare, which is a super lightweight, fast, doesn't add any bloat to your website plugin. And let me show you what we're gonna work towards here. So I have this floating sidebar right here where you can click on any of these buttons and share to the social media platform of your choice. This is all configurable. Uh, we're also gonna add this inline share bar to our website. Again, that's configurable as well. It shows you the total amount of shares for this particular blog post. I'm also gonna show you how to add these Pinterest pin buttons to all of your images, including the featured image on your blog post or page. And then I'm also gonna show you on my contact page how to add links to your social media accounts so that people can follow you there as well. So this is my website, tonyflorida.com. This is just an example of what we're gonna work towards, but we're gonna add these to my other website, tonyteaches.tech, which at this point doesn't have any of these on the website right now. So for example, if you go to this web, this page here, there's no Pinterest pin buttons showing up here, nothing on the left-hand side, and no share buttons at the bottom. So how are we gonna do this? We're gonna do this with a plugin called NovaShare. You won't find NovaShare in the uh, plugin section of your WordPress dashboard. You have to download this from their uh, their website directly. Let me just show you, novashare.io. Um, there is a, this is a premium plugin, uh, so it does cost anywhere from $25 for one site all the way up to $125 for unlimited sites. Uh, I do have a license, which I, I'm going to show you how to upload to your website. So here is the download page for the NovaShare plugin on my account. So I'm gonna download the plugin. It's in the form of a zip file, novashare.zip. So I'm gonna just simply go into my website and go to the plugin section, add new, upload plugin, choose the file, and we're just gonna pick that novashare.zip file and install now. And when that's done, go ahead and activate the plugin. So now that we have that, uh, I'm gonna empty the page cache if that's an option for you. And I'm gonna go into the NovaShare settings right here. This is also accessible if you go to settings and then NovaShare. So inline content. Inline content is, let me show you back here, is this right here. So that's what the inline content means. So let's first design what that's gonna look like. So for me, I like to have Facebook first and then Twitter, followed by Pinterest, and then LinkedIn, and Reddit after that, and then email the last one. So you can put these in any order that you want. Uh, just make sure that you enable inline content. Um, we only want this to show up on posts. You can also have it in pages, but for me, I just want it on posts. I'm not gonna put a breakpoint for this. I just want this to show on mobile and desktop. And um, this, in this case, uh, I'm gonna show you below content, which is gonna put it right around here, okay? Um, again, we're, we're on tonyteaches.tech, which doesn't have this, so we'll see what that looks like after the fact. Um, anything else in here? So you can change the, the, the button style, the button layout, alignment, all that stuff. I like the defaults, so I'm gonna keep most of those the same. Um, even the margin, the the spacing in between the in individual buttons, you can you can change that. Uh, I'm I'm gonna tick on show labels because I want to show the the people what the social network is like. Write out the words Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Um, anything else down here? Uh, I do want to show the total share count, but I don't want to show the individual network share count. So with this option turned on, you'll sh people will see oh there's uh, ten shares on Facebook and five shares on Twitter. You can have that, but I just like to have a total share count off to the right hand side. And that's why that's what it says after. You can move that to before, before, and that'll show up on the left hand side over here. But I have mine after. Total share count comes after. Okay, and then you can change this call to action, but I'll keep the defaults. So we will save those changes. And then let's let's go to the website, tonyteaches.tech. We'll go to the blog post again and see if we have that button. There it is. So the series of buttons down here, right at the end of our blog post, uh, there's an ad being served, uh, but that's right before the author bio and the, the uh, categories that this is associated with. So that's good, that was pretty easy. Let's do the uh, floating sidebar next. So 
We can do that. Uh, next tab over here is the floating bar. I'm gonna do the same exact order. So Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Reddit, and email. Feel free, feel free to add all of these, a subset of these, whatever you wanna do. Uh, we wanna make sure that we enable that. Um, this is also only gonna be applied to posts, not pages, okay? Um, and the button position is default, the button alignment is left. You could have it on the right. And the mobile breakpoint, we'll keep it at 1200 pixels for now, but I'm gonna show you what that looks like in a bit. We'll probably have to tweak that a little bit. And design, we'll keep all the defaults. Feel free to play around with this. Um, for mobile, uh, same type of options here. You can play around with that. I'm not gonna do anything in there. Uh, but for the network share counts, I'm gonna turn that off as well. Just show the total share counts. So we'll save those changes. And let's go back to our website, refresh the page. And now you'll see that we have our social share buttons on the left hand side, which is really cool, super easy. Um, and that'll show up on any blog posts that you have. Uh, because I don't have any shares on this post yet, we're not seeing any type of text show up here for the number of share counts like we do on Tony Florida. Uh, but if we did, we might have to change the text color uh, because this is on a white background here, uh, but we have a white background here and a darker dark blue background here. So that um, that is something that we might have to tweak. Now, let me show you what I mean by the mobile breakpoint. So I'm gonna open up the uh, Chrome DevTools here and right now the width of our screen is 1385 and we picked a mobile breakpoint of 1200. So when we get to 1200, as we make this smaller, um, that's gonna, the, these social sharing buttons are gonna pop down to the bottom. So now you'll see that show up as the user scrolls, they'll come down to the bottom of the page instead. Now, what I noticed here is that I probably want them to break down there right when they, right before when they cross the, the white um, background of my blog post. So that's somewhere around 200 and I'm just gonna say 295 pixels just to be safe. So right at this point it would pop down and there would never be any overlap with the content. So let's try that out. Let's, um, instead of 1200 pixels, what do we say? 1295, we'll save those changes. Come back over here, refresh the page and yeah, so let's play around with that. So if we get past 1295, they pop down to the bottom. So if you're on a mobile page, they'll show up down here. So that's good, that's perfect. That's exactly what we wanna happen. Um, we'll get out of here for now. Uh, next, let's do the image. When you hover over an image, let's show the Pinterest pin. Okay, so if somebody wanted to pin that to their Pinterest board, they could. So this tab over here, I'm gonna click, skip over, click to tweet. You can play around with these. I'm not using those on any of my websites, but for Pinterest, um, the share button behavior, we're gonna share post image. You can also have the user pick any of the images on the page, but I'm just gonna share the post image, the featured image here. And I wanna enable that. Um, you can enable it on posts and pages, uh, but I'm just gonna do no, let's do posts and pages because there's some pictures on other pages that people might potentially want to share. Uh, the button position, I like the top right, the default's top left, but you can pick anywhere, bottom left, bottom right, center. Um, the button shape is squared, that's fine for me. And if you needed to exclude um, images, you could do that as well. So let's go ahead and save that. Go back over to our website, refresh the page. And now when we hover over, you'll see that we can pin that image. That is the featured image, and let's see if we have any other images here. Not on this page, um, but if there were multiple images, you could pin each one of those. All right, cool. So um, I don't have too many other social media accounts other than YouTube at this point, so I'm not gonna put any of those links to my social media on this website right now but I do wanna show you how that works over here on TonyFlorida.com. So like I showed uh, before, if we go to my contact page, I have this, uh, this inline links to my social media. So this is my YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, mine. This is not a user sharing it. This is links to my actual, let's go, let's go to the YouTube channel. This is my other YouTube channel, Tony Florida. Um, this is my Facebook page. I don't really maintain that one too well. Uh, and then my Instagram as well. So that's the difference between sharing, uh, it's linking to your social media. Um, so I have that here and I also have that on this page right here at the very bottom, the same 
inline content. So how do we do that? Well, this one's a little bit different um, because this is, this is using something called short code to make this happen. So essentially what you have to do, we'll go into the dashboard. Oops, I'm on the wrong site. Uh, so I have to go back over here. So yeah, we went to appearance elements and I have one here for Nova share inline. And what that looks like is simply uh, wrapping a div with some padding at the top or margin specifically with Nova share inline content. And what that's going to do is show, um, those buttons, those social media sharing buttons. Okay. Um, and that is going to happen display rules anytime after the post on your website. So all posts, we're going to show that. Um, and I think I might've misspoke. This is, uh, we're not talking about the social media sharing buttons. In this case, we're talking about, um, sharing the individual blog posts. Sorry if that's confusing. So this, this right here on Tony is specifically showing Wait for a second, this down here, okay? That's, this maps to that. So what about on uh, the contact page, right? How do we do these? Well, if we edit this page, we can see the short code for that. And that looks something like this. So it's, again, it's a short code called NovaShare underscore follow. We're pretty much giving a list of our networks. So YouTube is this URL, Instagram is this URL, Facebook is this URL. Uh, we're designing the button shapes around it, button alignment left, new tab, open the new tab, links, true. Okay, and like I said, this all of this is documented here, novashare.io slash docs slash shortcode. And a lot of the options that you can choose from are right here. So anywhere you want that to show up, you just simply have to add that short code here, and then that'll show up uh, in, a, in a bar. And while we're in here, the one last thing I'll show you is if you did wanna add a special social media um, image like when people click the share button for Pinterest or Facebook, you can specifically show them a different image than what's on your page with uh, some titles in the description for that. And the same thing holds true for Pinterest over here, as well as you can, if you, for whatever reason, wanted to hide um, your inline content or your floating bar or your image pins on a certain page, you can do that on a page by page basis here. Uh, but I don't want to do that on my pages, uh, so I just want you guys to be aware that that's actually an option. So um, that's about it. I have a coupon code for 15% off your NovaShare subscription, so check that out in the link below. The code is Tony Teaches Tech. Um, thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more like this for me in the future, and if you do, I'll see you in the next one.